Hello everyone. Today we are going to see one more example on generalized rule of integration by parts. So here we have to evaluate this integral. For this, we should know sine integral and cos integral. So sine integral, this is what minus cos of ax upon a. We will write generalize here, and this is cos of ax integral. This is what cos integral this is sin ax upon a this constant c okay now we have to evaluate this integral so first we will write what is generalized rule of integration by parts so yes when we have first function is power function of x that means that first function is polynomial of x we have to use this generalized rule so what is this rule here we will write down first so we have to write first function as it is then second functions integration minus derivative of first factor in previous term into integration of second term in previous term right that means this preceding term here then plus we have to take second derivative of this u that means derivative of this first factor in the second term into integration of this v2 and so on right and we have to remember that we have to check alternate plus minus sign here so yes we have to take the derivative of successive derivative of first function and integration of second function right so first function this is here this one so we will write down this integral this is our i is equals to we will write down yes so what we have to write this is first function as it is x cube minus 4x into sine integral sine integral this is what minus cos of nx upon n right then minus derivative of this one so this derivative this is what 3x square minus 4 right into integration of this one yes integration of this so this is minus 1 upon n we will write this is as here into cos of nx integral so this is sine nx upon n right then this plus here right next we have to write this derivative derivative of this one so derivative of this 6x 4 derivative that's 0 right into this minus 1 upon n into n so here we have this is minus 1 upon n square into sine integral sine integral this is again minus cos of nx upon n right next here we have this plus sign plus term next we have here minus into 6x derivative so derivative here 6 into so here minus minus get plus so here we have 1 upon n square into n so here we have n cube and cos integral this is sine nx upon n right and next term will be this plus right now what is next we have to write 6 this derivative of this 6 that is 0 right and integral of this term and here we have 0 into so we will have next term is 0 right yes so yes we have to simplify this one here so x cube minus 4x yes this is minus so we will write this minus outside so cos of nx upon n now we will check this minus minus get plus yes so this is 3x square minus 4 
we have here sin nx into upon n square yes then this is we have minus minus get plus here we have plus 6 into what is here cos of nx upon n cube yes this is next we have this term this is minus 6 here we have sin nx upon n cube and this is we have to write integration constant yes so this is we have evaluate integral by using generalized rule of integration by parts yes again we will check the sign here this is minus yes minus minus get plus this is plus and this is minus yes so this is the required example we have solved this is by using generalized rule of integration by parts right so when we have to use this rule here when we have to evaluate integration of product of two functions and one of which is a power function of x at that time only we have to use this rule right so this is required thank you